Yes. Let me pass. Now, what have we learned so far? What have we learned? Now, definition of clause. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words that has a subject and a final word. A clause is a group of words that has a subject and a final word. And it is also a, it is also a part of a sentence. It is also part of a sentence. I am coming to that. It is a part of a sentence. And you see that clauses are of two types, are main kind, two types, independent and dependent. Alright? Independent clause that can stand on its own. It is also called main clause or principal clause. Dependent clause, it cannot stand on its own. It is also called subordinate clause. Okay? Now forms a part of a sentence. Come to that. Come to that. Forms a part of a sentence. Now, if I say that I do not know the parents, I do not know. Only if I write this. Is it a clause? Is it a clause? No. Why not? Because it does not form part of a sentence. It does not form a part of a sentence having another finite form. It does not contain part of a sentence having another finite form. You see, I know the boy with a sentence. With a sentence. Because sentence, what are the requirements of sentences? Which are also one subject. This is subject. This is finite verb. Now this is the sentence. But when I write, I know the boy who stole the highest marks. Who stole the highest marks. Who stole the highest marks. You see, yeah. You see the clause. Here I know the boy is a clause. Because it is a part of a sentence that has another finite form. It is a part of a sentence that has another finite form. Okay? You see, I know the boy is a clause. Then it is also another clause. Another clause. He is also not who scored the highest marks. High marks. He is also a part of a sentence. So, this is the difference between a clause and a sentence. This is the difference between a clause and a sentence. What is the difference? A clause is a group of words having finite verbs, having a subject, having a finite verb, but it is a part of a sentence. A sentence, I know the word. Alright, it is a sentence. And now a sentence can have the whole is also one sentence. It is also one sentence having two clauses. This sentence has two clauses. Okay. Another example. Take another example. We we have to stay at home. We have to stay at home until the school reopens. Until the school reopens. You know, you the children have to stay at home. We have to stay at home until the school reopens. You see. There are two clauses. We have to stay at home. This is principal clause. Or independent clause. Independent clause. And this is dependent clause. This is dependent or subordinate clause. Dependent. Dependent or subordinate. Subordinate clause. Look at the book. You see, we have to stay at home. If you say this, it can stand on its own. So it is independent clause or principal clause or main clause. Until the school reopens, if you say that until the school reopens, just then the school will <laughs> No, it does not stand, it cannot stand on its own. It has a sense, but it cannot stand on its own. So it is dependent on subordinate clause. It has also one subject, 
You see, the school, school is subject, this is subject, this is finite part, the finite part. Here also you see, this is a subject, subject, and have to stay, have to stay, okay, this, this is finite part. Final part. Here also to stay in Mampanai and to stay alive together in the final part. Alright? You see, you see now, then what is the difference between clause and sentence? A clause has all the qualities of a sentence, has all the features, but it is a, is a part of a sentence. It is the part of a sentence, that is the main thing. Alright? Okay, now dependent clauses or subordinate clauses are of three types. Dependent clauses or subordinate clauses are of three types. Subordinate clauses are of three types. Subordinate noun clause, subordinate adjective clause, and subordinate verb clause. Dependent or subordinate, dependent or subordinate, subordinate, okay, subordinate noun clause, subordinate adjective clause, subordinate adverb clause. I think I will take it, I will take up the, these subdivisions next day, okay. Next day the chapter will be finished, but before that, you will have to learn these three things. You must have to learn these three things. What are they? Number one is what is a phrase? Okay, phrases are of many kinds, but three are very important that are discussed in your book. That is noun phrase, adjective phrase, and adverb phrase. You have learned it. Go through the video, see the sentences. I will also, I will also send you photocopies, photocopies of what I have learned, what I have taught you today. Okay, I will also send you. You can also go through them. Go through your book and also 106 and also 107 for clauses. Alright? Do the exercise. Tomorrow in the mid class, I will discuss uh, all the 10 sentences of the exercise and also provide you with the answer key. Okay? And tomorrow I will also complete. Uh, Discuss now these three sub clauses and subordinate noun clause, subordinate adjective clause, and subordinate adverb clause. Okay. Tomorrow, my mid class is at 10 a.m. Okay. It will start at 10 a.m. So, at 9.55, you will get the link. Join the class. Before that, you can send any query to me to my WhatsApp number. So that I can satisfy you, I can satisfy all your queries, clear all your doubts, alright? Or while the classes will go on, you can send your, you can send your questions, I will write your answers, okay? I, I will discuss your answers. Thank you, thank you class 8 students, you will have to remember that this is the first time I am taking your class, I am trying to make everything clear. So you please try to cooperate with me. Thank you.